Uh, hi everyone and welcome uh, to this series of electrical A6 power systems and machined uh, PEO exam. This is question from May 2022, so it's a recent one. Okay, and this is my first time solving a question about the salient poles. All the questions I have done so far about round rotor and there the model will look like this. This is the internal generated voltage. We have XS. Sometimes we may, we may not uh, consider RA. Most of the time we don't consider RA. And this is your VT. This is your IA. One KVL, very straightforward. Okay. But here, this is for the first time I'm solving this. It's about the salient poles, how to deal with the salient poles. Okay. So to give you a, a, a sort of background, I mentioned uh, in B7 some uh, theoretical part about the salient poles. I will leave the link here to get some theoretical background. But basically the salient pole here, the distance between the rotor and the stator is not uniform. So here we have a small distance and here we have large distance. This is why we will have two components of the reactants. One we call the direct and one we call it the quadrature and they are basically 90 degree from each from each other. So let's draw the model and start from there before solving the question. So the model for the salient pole is basically this is your EF similar to the EF in the round rotor but instead of having only one reactance we will have two reactances in series. This is how it is modeled not how it is in reality. And here it is your VT, same as your VT with an angle of zero as our reference. So the first one we call it J, X, D, the direct reactance times I, D, the direct component of I, A. Now the total current here is your I, A. This is the total component. Then we will have J, X, Q, the quadrature component times I, I, Q. Okay. Now, IA can be calculated directly from the load, okay? but ID and IQ are two unknowns. But IA, basically, as a vector, is equal to IQ plus ID, knowing that these two currents are basically, they are 90 degrees from each other. Okay, so let's start from applying KVL and let's see how we can come up with a simplified formula to solve this. So if I take a KVL, basically here your EF is equal to VT angle of zero plus this voltage drop and this voltage drop which is plus JXDID plus J X Q I Q. Now to simplify the math, what we will do here, we will add J X Q I D minus J X Q I D. So I just added term and subtract the same term. So I'm not affecting the whole uh, formula, but this is basically just to uh, tell you uh, or to help you to analyze the circuit. Now. This is VT angle of zero plus. So basically I will take this JXQ and this together. So these two components together. So we will have here JXQ, then IQ plus ID plus J. This, the other two, this one and this one, J, X, D minus X, Q times I, D. So it's the same formula, but I'm just doing some uh, mathematical manipulation. Now, but what is I, Q plus I, D? This is your I, A. So this is your V, T, angle of zero plus J, X, Q, I, A, okay, plus J, X D minus X Q all times I D. Now we are ready to draw the phasor diagram for this for the, this generator. So we start from your V T as your reference. We have here your I A has a power factor of theta. Okay, now. 
VT and this IA times XQ and it has a 90 degree so sort of here we have around so this is your IA so this will be around 90 degree here IA so this is you will have here J XQ I D okay so this is IA this is IA which is this component so we have VT plus J XQ IA if you add these two vectors you get what we call it EF prime EF prime this is your EF prime okay and then if you extend this is a little bit more and you add this component J XD minus XQ times ID this whole thing will be your EA this is the total or your EF now this is your delta now the current will be decomposed into two components one along with EF which is basically your the current component IQ the quadrature component and a 90 degree to this this is 90 degree which is your I ID so that is the equivalent uh, phasor diagram for this type of questions okay so now let's see how to analyze this okay so the first thing I want to find is your IA and your IA is straightforward is equal to 200 times 10 to the power 3 which is your P divided by root 3 4.16 times 10 to the power of 3 because the kilo this is uh, in uh, 4.16 kilovolt or 4160 volt times the point 8 angle of minus cosine inverse of point 8 and this will give me a total uh, current equal to 34.7 angle of minus 36.9 so that is my IA so now I can calculate this EF prime okay which is basically vt angle of zero plus which is this vector this vector so we need to add to it that vector or go back to the original formula to find okay so let's move on here and let me find my e f prime which is the 4160 divided by root 3 angle of zero this is the terminal voltage plus j7 which is your xq times the current which is the 34.7 angle of minus 36.9 okay and this will give me a total voltage equal to 2555 five angle of 4.36 so this is your ef prime now if you go back here your ef prime is exactly on the same direction as your total here your total ef so basically the angle of ef prime and ef is exactly the same so we already found the power angle okay now let's come back here and now we need to find basically we need to go back to solve for this question or this equation so we need to find id and iq now when you look here we can find i we need, we need to have this angle okay which is the delta plus theta so the angle delta plus theta will equal to 4.36 plus 36.9 so it is equal to around 41.9 0.3 degrees so this is this angle so then i can decompose this using the sine and the cosine since the angle here is 90 so basically your id is equal to your ia sine of delta plus theta with an angle of delta minus 90 so we go back here if you take the sine of this you get your basically your id here and this angle is basically the 90 which is the angle between iq and id minus the delta so that is basically sorry the delta minus the 90 okay so this is the angle of of this so the whole angle is 90 take out delta the angle of iq you get the angle of id which is 
uh, delta minus 90 so this will give me your uh, basically your ia 34.7 sine of 31 41.3 uh, angle of 4.36 minus 90 and this will give me 22.9 angle of minus 85.64 amps then you need to find the iq which is the quadrature component so this is basically cosine ia times cosine these two angles and the ang its angle is basically just the delta so this will be ia cosine of delta plus theta with an angle of only delta now we have everything here this will give me 26.1 angle of 4.36 so this is your your iq and your i ID. now we are set to find your ef which is basically this voltage drop plus this voltage drop plus this so it's basically your uh, two uh, four zero one point eight angle of zero which is this plus your j10 which is your id times uh, xd times id which is two two point nine angle of minus eighty five point six plus then you will have the other component which is j x q i q so it is j and x q is 7 times i q which is we have it here as 26.1 angle of 4.36 so please do do the math yourself but when you do that you will find this is equal to 262.3.9 angle of 4.36 and that's an indication that you are in the right track because this angle and the angle of ef prime has to be exactly the same because they are in the same in the same direction so now that is your ef and this is your delta which we found it in the in the previous step so this is how to analyze a question using the or for a salient ball 